everybody, and I'd like to thank everybody for coming out. i also like to thank Forbes Premium Fuel on Frontage Road in East Haven for hosting us again. also like to thank Joe Zulo, our state representative here in East Haven, for attending the Stop the Gas Tax rally. And that's the exact reason why we're here again, that we're making it be heard loud and clear that we need to stop TCI, which is just a tax on Connecticut, which is already overwhelmingly expensive. You know, it's great to see so many people here coming together in opposition and respectfully speaking out against something they think is not good for Connecticut. Now more than ever, on so many issues, not only TCI, do Connecticut residents need to be paying attention to the decisions that their elected officials are making and hold them accountable. It's very important. And you know, it, it's, it's a great example of when we pay attention and come together and make our voices be heard, we could stop things like the tolls. And I think we're going to stop TCI as well. TCI is being proposed as a way to clean the environment. And it's important that we pay attention to the environment and any reasonable person would agree that we need to do our best to make sure the environment is left the way we got it for our children and their children's children. But TCI is simply not that solution. It's being proposed as a way to reduce the carbon footprint. But that's simply not true. TCI, again, is just another tax on gas, which will increase the already high prices of food and just about anything that you'll buy at any store. We have great support in the Stop the Gas Tax rally around Connecticut and an overwhelming amount of opposition for TCI. And it's so important that we listen to our constituents and be the voice for our constituents, and that's what we're doing. I've received so many calls and emails in opposition. I believe I only got in one email that was not in complete opposition of TCI, and it went something along the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing, it's time that you come together in Connecticut and work together and work together and stop pointing the finger at one another and come up with solutions. And I couldn't agree with that constituent anymore. It's imperative that we work together and come up with these solutions. Again, that constituent that sent me that email, I could not agree anymore. It is so important. We continue to argue with each other when we need to come together. And that's exactly what the Senate Republicans have done, is proposed another way. And it's simply a better way of reducing the carbon emissions and protecting the environment. And it's time that we come together, as that constituent said, work together for the better of Connecticut's residents without increasing the taxes. It's very important. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out, and I'd like to turn it over to Joe Zulo, our state representative. Thank you, Senator Ciccarella. You know, I can't agree with Senator Ciccarella anymore. The problem in Connecticut is that we nickel and dime our taxpayers, we nickel and dime our residents. That's what TCI is amounting to. Its goals are laudable. We want to promote clean air. We want a good environment. We want to leave our world a better place for our children and our grandchildren. But the goals do not line up with the actual function of the proposal. And the way this proposal functions is that it is a regressive tax. It nickel and dimes everybody by making people pay more for the goods that travel our interstates, that travel our roads. They're going to pay at the pumps, they're going to pay at the supermarkets, they're going to pay everywhere that they consume goods. We do enough of that in Connecticut. We have to stop nickel and diming people. We have to start addressing our real budget issues, our debt, our spending. That's how we get spending under control. That's how we make Connecticut more affordable. And when we tackle those problems, we can tackle our green issues that we have in Connecticut and that we face around our world. But it doesn't start with proposals like this that just simply nickel and dime people. I agree with Senator Ciccarella. I'm proud to be standing here with him, and I'm proud to be joining tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of residents across the state of Connecticut who have opposed this proposal. So thank you, Senator Ciccarella, and thank you for everybody who's been out here today.